All right, so this Brawl is just common and rare cards, which are basic. It's probably gonna be rather difficult. I'm not really sure what I want to use. Honestly, I think DK probably work. DK and Demon Hunt probably the worst choice. Okay, it's not basic. It's any fucking card. It's just mean any corset card. We can make the fucking cheat deck if they haven't fixed it yet. But I'm not gonna do that because I could, I will get fucking banned probably if I do that. Does it still work though? Yep. <laughs> I could just make a non-cheat version of it though. It is a pretty fun deck, but we already saw it in a previous Tavern Brawl, so nah. Hmm. Can't make plague because of that. Honestly, with the way that it's set up, we we can make the buff deck. Like the buff deck works very well. Still, so I could make a cheat one, but I really shouldn't. Annoyingly, without I'm missing my really strong guy though. Yeah, that's God, that's only rare. Crazy. But yeah, we want cheap, I guess. Uh. Oh, I need one gold copy. Blood tab. I'm gonna need quite a few more corpses though. Gives us more undead. It would be useful to have something that summoned a bunch though. We also could do a card draw probably. Uh, these don't really help. Well, they give me a lot of corpses, so they're kind of helpful. This thing's good for getting through my deck. Nothing here really is worth, none of the neutrals are really worth putting in. Anything that shuffles in copies? Let's just hope we get this first try. Like, this deck, not exactly the best. I could just cheat. I could do the cheat strategy, but it's a terrible idea. Like I've said. We need more corpses, so I kind of don't really want to be spending corpses on things. Eh. I suppose they don't give corpses, but they do give deaths, don't they? No, it is corpses, so they're kind of useless for it. First lucky is a few extra corpses and fairly good removal. This thing's a pain in the ass. Uh, the lackeys don't count as undead, so do they? Yeah. Uh. Could just put in this thing, it's a basic card that needs kind of removing straight away. Probably just need more draw. Yeah, we could just put in we could just put in excavate cards and just get this excavated. 
But I suppose we've got the problem that then it might actually hit something else because we might actually get, um, like, the elemental thing from the excavator and revive an elemental. It's a death rattle, so we could actually just run the, um, the thing which triggers the death rattle. in the annoying watchtower as well. Yeah, this thing gives me extra cards. It's not really that good. I can run this just as a way to draw out these. I think we're probably going to use the excavate package. I'm so surprised that this, like, they kind of buffed and nerfed this thing by giving it a few extra stats, but it is an absolutely terrible cost now. Yeah, I suppose this thing with being buffed with it isn't so bad. We can have a mini Ralgor. Probably wouldn't have done this if, like, we actually had more cards to choose from. What's that? I've never seen that card. In my left. This thing's actually quite bad, just for the some... It really could do have been a 5-6. Five, five, like, it's actually really hard to get a minion with less than 4 attack for it to kill, which isn't your own. Could put in the Infectious Ghoul, but there's no point. Also, it kind of stops the revive. Anything over this price kind of stops the good revive, unless we can find something that's worthwhile reviving. Well, this thing's okay at Ravine, it's got a lot of health, but not that bad. I fucking hate this card. Uh, Mothership's a pretty good thing to revive. Like, honestly, like, Mothership with, like, the revive, that's a lot of minions. Humongous what? Humongous what? Um... Yeah, this is technically a hand buff, isn't it? But we don't really want that, like, it's too expensive. Yeah, I guess, guess we could put this in. Like, given that reborn wouldn't be so bad. But I think I'm gonna go for a cheapish deck. I'm gonna need more card draw, though. Uh, could do this, like I said, having the, just having the fucking tower. Could literally run the tower and the, oh wait, no, we don't have any room for frost runes anymore, so I can't use that. <sighs> do we have any good, what spells do we have? All our spells are pretty cheap, I think. I think we only have, yeah, all our spells are pretty cheap. So I could just run this guy to get, like, an extra copy of, like, Blood Tap and stuff like that. I don't really think this is worth it, considering we only have two of them. But it would be nice to have a way to draw them. Like, it's kind of tempted to put them in. This is not so bad either, like, it gives us corpses. Like, if we have a lesser stone in our hand, it gives it pretty much completes the thing by itself, and just gives us a bunch of corpses. Because this card is literally, get eight corpses. 
just you only get half of them straight away. But yeah, it's kind of tempted to put Far Watch Tower because, like, honestly, if you get this out turn two, like, it's really fucking annoying. Like, if it manages to survive for like two turns, then it's just pretty fucking OP. Honestly, it's actually kind of... What plate cards can you actually get? You can still get, like... Five plagues into the deck. Well, it's not even five. It's... You still get a fair few plagues in the deck. And Frost Plague is so powerful that it might actually be worth just putting plagues. It also does allow me to run the removal, since technically the deck doesn't really have any sort of removal yet. Oh yeah, I didn't actually put any of the Azerite stuff in yet, though, did I? We'll do Azerite. Uh, I guess we won't, because I can't remember how to spell it, Let's just hope we take on an easy deck. Ah, oh, that's a shame, that can't be put in. I guess we need a Frost Rune to be able to do Excavate properly. So I guess that we probably won't be doing Excavate after all. I guess I could spread the Death Rail actually, which would be kind of crazy. Like, only have this, have this as like our only Death Rail? Eh. Question is though, if I spread this Death Rail to other minions, What's that fucking do? I've also heard that Rattle Gore's Death Rattle actually doesn't work properly. That like if you buff if it if if you buff it, it doesn't actually come back with the buffed stats, so it might be a bad card. Uh, we are gonna need quite a few corpses though, which is a problem. Uh oh we got these. I can probably still discover legendaries using this. Or use this to try and discover, um, discover Helia, and just get some plagues in the deck. Like, well, I can use this one to discover Patrick, and use this one to discover Helia. Which Patrick would probably be stronger, but I'm gonna go with Helia since I love, I, I like, it. I like using this card just to discover Helia. Or I can discover the. Um, the Zero Mana Sylvanas with Rush, which is the other broken card that you can discover from that, which I actually discover quite often with that card. Which, if I can spread its death rattle around, allows me to take control of more things. Let's just hope we get an easy fight. Scarlet, well, Warrior can't use um, Odin, so... It's not exactly the best. Oh shit, maybe I didn't look at the <laughs> at the low costs in my deck. I kind of need some more low costs. This is a pretty good hand, but I need something to actually play. We'll keep one spider. Hmm, do I just coin out a ghoul just to build up some corpses so I can use blood tap? Like, we could just do that, build up build up the corpses by just coining out a ghoul, but also I could just save it for later. We'll save it for later. Like a snack. We'll save the snack for later. Probably the first time anyone's ever used an Eston Golem. Uh, whenever it takes damage, that's not the best. We could just play this. I could kill it though, which would be a problem. But oh well, just have to deal with it. Oh yeah, perfect. Probably one, probably the best one for what this deck is supposed to do. 
They'll increase the cost by one and increase its health by one, because that's not really worth the <laughs> increase in mana. But it does actually save its life, which is really fucking annoying. But we've got some corpses now. So next turn I'm probably going to use Ghoul and this, just to try and try and get like Helio or the um, the 20 cost. Because literally I changed up my um, Plague deck just because of the uh, that 20 cost. Like it became an Azerite deck just because I got that card. Because I was like, might as well have the ability to just revive the uh, 0 mana Sylvanas. Which the game considers 20 mana, but it's so fucking easy to get down to 0 that it's 0 mana. Uh, should we use farmhand instead? Nah. Ah, uh, end of one of these, that's pretty good. <laughs> should probably try and get out the dry scale as quick as possible. Fortunately, so far he hasn't really done anything. Could be getting Tyrions though. And if I remember right, I think Tyrions actually been buffed since the last time I used the Stone Scale Defender, because that's the main reason I used, reason used Stone, Scale, Stone Scale Defender to try and get Tyrions. But you probably can't even discover Tyrion with it, unless you're playing Paladin. I literally crafted a Golden Tyrion because I thought they would nerf it. They never did. <laughs> Oh god, that's not good. We are actually having quite a problem now, because that, like, most of the shit which he's done doesn't really do much. That is actually a big problem, because we don't actually have any way to deal with that. We're going to have to probably play in the Ruby and Swarmer. Clever, Probably worthwhile not attacking because I don't want to buff the thing, but he'll probably just whirlwind and kill Probably use whirlwind execute go face Oh shit I think that might have just recovered him the game. Okay, but we can buff up the other spider to a massive size. Like if we play one, one play one of these, then um, the amateur thing, spread the death rat all across. Then next spider will be massive. Okay, no point really block, no point really not just buffing up his attack on that. As long as he can't deal with this, with all three taunts, not all four taunts, then we have next time a massive one of these.
We can also buff up this thing instead. But these spiders are bigger, so I think we're doing the spiders. We can get rid of his Nerubian instead. Should have done it the other way around. Okay. Uh, so... It's not that big. Could just play this instead. Or just do this. Nah, we can't risk him getting past our taunts. I think we're going to do this. Excuse me! Over here! Can I add... Is our legendaries actually banned? Like, he didn't actually discover a legendary. <laughs> you really can't actually get better. Interesting. You really can't get a legendary in this brawl. Like, you can't get higher than a common or rare. That could have gone pretty bad, but fortunately the deck is full of a lot of taunts. And he was right to concede there. We were gonna completely fuck him next time.